Enjoy this moment and have fun with it. A ha 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 ha. Yeah. And what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, aka this is my third time recording this, and as they say, third time's a charm. But uh, what what I got for you today is another video, which is obviously over the weekend. And as I said, I don't upload over the weekend. But as Dion Sanders loves to say. If you ball, you get the call. And in this case, this man here, Kawhi Anthony Leonard, balled out last night on, with 36 points, eight rebounds, I'm sorry, nine rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and one block. Now, with the fact that he's the only superstar on the team, because George Paul is currently a big up, showing up hard, shooting just barely over 30% from the field and about 25% from three, Kawhi Leonard really carried the team last night. So because of that, we're going to make a Kawhi Leonard build. As most of you know, Kawhi Leonard is small forward, a small forward for the LA Clippers, jersey number two, currently standing at 6'7", six, six 225 pounds. He wasn't always with the Clippers, got drafted by the Spurs in the 2015 draft behind Kyrie Irving, Derrick Williams, Ines Cantor, Tristan Thompson, Jonas Valanciunas, Sean Vesley, Bismarck Biombo, Jimmy Fredette, who I'm not going to lie, was pulling up from deep before Dame, but he wasn't pulling up as deep as Dame. Clay Thompson, Alec Burks, Mark Heath, and Marcus Morris. Now, as you know, a bunch of those dudes ain't in the league no more, about two or three. The rest of them are just playing backup minutes, ex apart from Clay, Kyrie, Ines Cantor's technically coming off the bench, and Marcus Morris is a starting power forward for the Clippers, ironically. So, yeah, uh, Kawhi started his career off in San Antonio, where he was known more as a defensive presence, then got traded to Toronto due to the whole issue with his injury, where he won a chip. And uh, Toronto looks like they might be going to the finals this year with the way they're playing. Now, obviously, I do got the Heat coming out the East, and I'm going to keep saying it. But, yeah, Toronto's my second bet coming out the East. But outside of that, Kawhi's with the Clippers, and I'm not going to lie, it looks like they're going to the finals, maybe. But Kawhi Leonard, let's get to the build. Now, pie chart-wise, as, as I've said multiple times, 2K does screw you over with a lot of these pie charts because it's a thing of you're gifted one way or you're gifted the other, but you can't be gifted both. Now, for the sake that I want this Kawhi Leonard to be actually usable within the game, even though 2K20 is technically nearly out the door as we're just under 36 hours from the release of the 2K21 demo and about 12 days away from the release, sorry, 13 days away from the actual release of the full 2K21 game. How are y'all feeling for it? You hyped for 2K21? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. It feels like an ordinary day for me with 2K21 coming out. I, I'm not exactly jumping out my boots now. I've seen a few influencers, YouTubers, Upload a few pics of like some things in 2K21 going ooh ooh ooh, but I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. Don't get gas for 2K because they have a way of letting you down. But yeah, pie chart wise, we're going with what seems to be the best pie chart out of the, out of everything they have listed. Because outside of that, I could have gone with this, but the shooting would just be atrocious, and no one's really gonna be dribbling that much or passing or looking to pass that much with Kawhi, as we know. He does get dimes, but more often than not, it's a lot of post fades a little bit of mid-range jump shot and occasionally spotting up a three. Now, athleticism, physical profile-wise, the guy isn't known for being fast, being vertically gifted, all of that. What he's known for is big-ass hands standing at 11.5 inches and just being a menace, like, offensively. As Jason Tatum said, you just can't guard him. You know what's coming, but it's really hard to stop. Now, because it's a quiet build, we first you got to start off with the defense, you know what I'm saying? You got to max out that perimeter and interior defense, lateral quickness got to go up. I'm going to put steel and block for now at 75 just because I'm going to mess around with a few other things before I get to them. Post move all the way to the all the way to the top, same for mid-range, you know what I'm saying? That three ball got to go up too because you do be shooting it. Free throw, I'm going to leave it at about an 80 just because most likely man, you need driving dunk all the way to the top, you know what I'm saying? Now, what we got left, we got 61 left, and obviously, I got to max out ball handling and passing just because this is a Kawhi Leonard build, and the boy, he don't get dropped off like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to take steel. I'm going to take as much as I can off there because, yeah, you'll see what I'm trying to do. But, so far, what you can see is it finishes with three finishing badges, 16 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 11 defensive and rebounding. 
Now the truth is, I don't need all those playmaking badges. I'd rather move into shooting, which is something I hope 2K gets rid of. I hope they get rid of this whole idea whereby, oh, if this skill has so many, you can have these many of those many badges. Why not just give us as many badges as we want? Not as many, sorry. Give us the same amount of badges, but stop putting a cap on where we can use them. Because I'm sick and tired of putting it on playmaking things because I don't really need those many. But anyway, body type wise, as with most NBA players, Kawhi's compact built. He's he's not exactly solid with what you can say. Yeah. Yo, that's a bit of a tough one. Define, yeah, I'm gonna go with Defined actually. It ain't, it ain't come back. He's Defined as hell. Cause Kawhi do, he look muscular, but he doesn't look too muscular. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't look built. No way as hell slight. Compact, mm, I would have gone with that one, but he does look defined. Cause he looks like he's been, he been, he been living some weight. You know what I'm saying? Hitting that bench press hard. But uh, height wise, six for seven. Weighs about two to five pounds, which is going to mess up the lateral quickness, but improve the interior defense. Slow him down a bit on acceleration, which I'm a-okay with because, as I said again, he's not someone you're going to be looking to get up and down the floor with, like Nomad's business. Now, wingspan-wise, as with the big hands, the boy's got an 87-inch wingspan. Do you know what type of insanity is? That's a 7'3 wingspan right there. Seven foot three. I'm gonna say that one more time. Seven foot three wingspan with 11.5 inch hands from pinky to thumb. There's a reason this man is known as the claw and is a defensive menace to most offensive players. And uh, obviously clamped up LeBron that one time they beat us for the chip. But 87 inch wingspan, playmaking play style. I'm gonna have to go with. Ooh, yeah, cause it's quiet. You gotta go lie down, defend it, cause you, you know that boy be clamping. Now anyway. Comparison-wise, it gave us Chris Mullen, Jimmy Butler, Gordon Hayward. I personally never watched Chris Mullen play because I'm not old enough to have watched Chris Mullen play. But I will take the Jimmy Butler and Gordon Hayward because I would say this. Kawhi Leonard is in a high caliber class of this type of player of a three-level scorer that can play defense. And a few levels down is Jimmy Butler and alongside him is Gordon Hayward because people don't give Gordon Hayward the credit he deserves. The man does play both defense and offense. Now, I know on the Celtics team, he looks like, oh, you know, he's not even like the second or third best player on the team. But trust me, people are sleeping on him. Remember at one point, he was balling out, which is why he left Utah and joined Boston, because he knew Utah wasn't doing nothing at the time. Now, obviously, in the playoffs, they're balling out. My probably 7 of 8 from 3 last night. But yeah, uh, let me get back to the build. And if I do really get into this Gordon Hayward thing, I might just have to make a Gordon Hayward build. Now, obviously, as for you all, have to remake the face, and as you all know, the face will be kind of messed up. Oop, I'm about to make a mistake there. I meant to click test build, not edit build. But yeah, as you all know, the face will look a bit weird, like this one. I'm not gonna lie to you, I fully do believe the new 2K patch messed up the faces because I saw the face when the person made it and it looked real sick. And then I saw mine and I said to myself, here we go again. Like, <laughs> like that's EJ me. Oh, here we go again. Anyway, uh, badge wise, what would I run with this? Now, you just gotta max out contact finish. I really wouldn't care for anything else. Like it is, that's what the man mainly does. Uh, I'm gonna go with silver tight handles, silver unpluckable, silver needle threader, space creator. You know what I'm saying? Cause uh, yeah, and downhill. Downhill. Any of you that have seen this man play know as soon as he gets on that break, son, he's looking to dunk over you or go through you. He don't care. Defensively, I'm gonna go Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame intimidator. And then I'm gonna go gold pickpocket. Everyone's gonna wonder why not go for something else? Why not go for something else? It's because the truth is this, man. He gets in front of you, he stops you, and once he stops you, if you ain't tight with that handle, he's taking the ball away and going the other way. Just ask Luka Doncic. Yeah, that scared. I ain't even saying the swear word. But um, lastly but not least, shooting badges. I always love to get to these last because these are the most fun to mess with. Uh, personally, you're not gonna be looking at anyone closing you out like that. So I'll go gold, quick draw. Dead eye. What else would I get? Hmm. Actually, you shot percent for off a pick and fade situation. Bump that. Silver steady shooter. Silver tireless, just because the man is tireless. Gold green machine. I got three more that I could put somewhere. I'm trying to think. And difficult shots. This is how I run with this Kawhi Leonard build, just because my main thinking behind it is this. No one, you're never actually gonna be dribbling whereby you need to dribble, dribble, dribble and pull up into a jump shot, so quick draw ain't gonna be useful. And anytime you do take a shot with the defender in your face, more often than not, it'll be off the post, off the post fade. 
so you wouldn't need quick draw at that point because either way 2k has the animation that it's nearly impossible to block someone out of a post move unless you're not the person guarding the post but rather another defender coming off so yeah i'd run it with tireless shooter steady shooter difficult shots green machine dead eye range extender now obviously the way i run this build is the way i personally run it y'all could go in the comments and tell me what you would change but i personally believe this badge set up here is the best you could do with the build if you were looking to play as an off ball small forward who on occasion once in a half court set gets the ball and has to get busy with it but outside of that that's the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed what you saw as it said at the beginning of the video don't forget to subscribe click the notifications button you know what i'm saying we got 100 viewers on one video and a bunch of them like over 70 percent of them want subscribe so i'm gonna say it one more time if you ain't subscribed subscribe 2k21 is coming out soon we got more content coming your way if anybody balls out tonight i might just have to make another build video tomorrow which is actually kind of fun but yeah it's been your boy alvin mb10 aka amr10 aka i gotta go do some revision i'll catch you man in a bit deuces